Creole it bingo board is up. This is my challenge. Thank you, Rogan Shannon. For the indigenous main character cha um, challenge, I chose an ace of spades. I'm not quite sure what to expect, but it promises an incendiary and utterly compelling thriller with a shocking twist that delves deep into the heart of institutional racism. My group challenge is the Nimona graphic novel, which I've been looking forward to reading for a while and just have never got round to. Kelly Chithart um, recommended The Fever King for the science fantasy section and I have that on, um, on audiobook. For the choose your own category, I've chosen something I've been intending to get around to reading for a while, which is Nothing Ever Happens Here, which is a story of family. But an Aero Ace main character, I chose Loveless. I really enjoyed the Heartstopper um, graphic novel. I th thought it'd be really interesting to try one of um, one of the Alice Osman's books. Um, speaking of Alice Osman, I have got the fourth volume of Heartstopper as my graphic novel. This gender fluid has been sitting on my shelf for some time and I've been intending to read it so I'm hoping this will give me the challenge to actually read, read and um, absorb it. The Messy Queers prompt is an interesting one and I've actually chosen a book that I wanted to return to. Orange is not the only fruit it was so influential in my teenage years and as perhaps one of the very few representations that I could find and I'm going to read it again. Well, prize the season. So I wanted to have a, a closer look at this history of Stonewall. I'm not sure if this is an illustrated book or a picture book. Um, quite looking forward to seeing. As a romance, After Love promises to be a story of life beyond death and love beyond death. So that should be an interesting novel. LGBT history? No, LGBT natural history. Evolution's Rainbow is a book that I, I have read it before and I think it will be enjoyable to read again looking at the, um, the way that different, diverse sexualities and genders are in the natural world. For queer sport I've chosen a graphic novel about roller derby. Dreadnought, the first transgender superhero that should be an interesting explanation with a new author, April Daniels. Proud, an anthology of short fiction and poetry, something that's been on my shelf for a long time, so this is my turn to read it. Hmm, is Shark Holmes autistic? Is he a It's very hard to tell. This book of the tellings of Scottish folk tales, Wayne, really, um, caught my attention and fascinated me. I hadn't realised until it arrived this morning that it's um, written as poetry, so I'm really looking forward to reading it. So if I can read all this, that ticks off everything on the bingo card. I'm not sure if I can get through it all in time, but I've got a bit of time for reading over this week and a mixture of audiobooks, paper books and books on my Kindle should make this quite an interesting challenge. So I'm looking forward to it and if you'd like to see my reviews as I read please like and subscribe to see the new videos.